Get out of the city and into an adventure that moves the whole family. Prepare to be moved. The all-new Nissan X-Trail. On air, online, and on your smart speaker. Birdie Blue, stocking popular naked vice bag range. SAFM News Briefing. G'day, Tom Parry with you. The Teachers' Union has called off strike action planned for this Friday. It comes after the Education Department presented a new offer to teachers worth more than $1.3 billion. The union had been seeking an 8% increase in pay next year and 5% for the following two years. Today is Alana and Madeline Day. It's promoting the non-profit Alana and Madeline Foundation, which aims to support children who experience or are fleeing violence with buddy bags. The buddy bags are brand new backpacks and they're thoughtfully packed by our volunteers and have got items to meet a lot of their personal care needs such as toothpaste, PJs, underwear, socks and a soft teddy bear. So they provide these vulnerable children with a sense of security and in many ways really encompasses the ethos of the foundation whereby these kids know that there's someone looking out for them, they don't know who it is but in this moment of need they get something that's really useful and meaningful to them. Founder of the foundation, Walter Mikak there. A new federal housing scheme will help South Australians find long-term secure housing, according to the state government. The $10 billion Housing Australia Future Fund has received majority support in federal parliament. In a statement, SA Minister for Human Services Nat Cook said the government welcomes what this funding will mean for women fleeing domestic violence or at risk of homelessness, as well as remote Indigenous communities across the state. And briefly, Melson Council will decide tonight if it will vote to keep the swimming lake closed over summer while major repair works are conducted. After this, there is no turning back. You sip the red can, the story ends. You sip the black can, you enter dreamland. And I show you just how good the truth can taste. Max Taste Challenge. The Mid South East Netball Association has named their award winners for 2023. A grade best and fairest went to Kalangadu goalie Abby Duncan, with Glencoe defender Sarah Edwards being runner up. Both players were named in the Mid South East Team of the Year. Meanwhile, Sarah Gray and Jackie Cox were awarded life membership for their work and dedication to the association. Beyond Blue is here to help you achieve your best possible mental health. For more information, advice and support, visit beyondblue.org.au today. Selling the family home, Miller, Juan and John put you first. This is SAFM Weather. Sunny for the day across the limestone coast. We're heading for a top of 22 degrees with some winds easing into the evening. Download the listener app and search the briefing podcast to find out what you need to know for the summer ahead. Oh,